In this video, I'm going to show you how you can put a spinning image of some sort on your web page so when it's loading, it shows that instead of just a blank screen. That way, people know that it's loading and they'll wait for it to come up. Now, what I mean by this, let's just go in Netflix here, and if we click on one of these, you'll see that this we have this circle here before Netflix comes up. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to a tool and create our image first. Okay, so we're going to go to a site called ajaxload.info and then you can go here where it says indicator type and then you can go through and pick which one you want. There's all kinds of different ones in here. Let's go with the one that's something like Netflix. Let's click on that and then over here you have your background color. So if you leave it like that it would be white and then the foreground color is black now, if you click in here, you can change the colors. As you see over here, you can pick from here, or you can key in a color code. Okay, so let's just leave it white and black. And if you want a transparent background, what that'll do is it'll just put the black image right on top of your website. Okay, so let's go with the transparent image, and we can generate our picture and here it is down here let's download okay let's save it here okay now what we need to do at this point is we need to actually put some code on our website and upload the image so let's do that actually first let's go to where we downloaded this and if we bring it up as you see this is what it's going to do on our website so all we have to do now is add some code to the website we're going to use. I'll bring up one in my editor here. Okay, so for this to work right, what you want to do is put your image in the same place your index page of your website is. Okay, and or you could put it in images. It's also fine. You just need to put the path to it in the script. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that in a minute. Okay, so let's open this up. And I'm going to use Composer to open this. Okay, and Composer is a free web editor. You can just search for it and download it if you don't have one, or you can use your favorite web editor. So let's open it. Okay, then we need to go to Source, and then we're going to go down to where it says Body. Here's the body tag. Now, what we're going to do is go to where the end of that body tag is. You'll see we have a lot of style things here. So we need to go to where the end of that is, which is right there. Okay, and then, now you may just have a body tag, you may not have all these other things in here, you might just say body and then a bracket after it like that. But whatever the case, what you need to do now is go to the script that I supplied and then you want to put this bit in here, on load init. So copy that and then paste it right at the end there, just before the curly bracket. So you may have body and then space on load init and then a bracket like that. Okay, then right after that, what you want to do is copy the rest of the script in. So let's grab the rest of this. Copy. paste. You see it says yourimage.gif. You need to put the name of your image in there. So we'll go back to here and I call it load.gif. So load. And if you didn't put it right where your web page is, for instance, if you put it in images, you'd go images slash load. Okay, but I have it there. So I'll save it now. Okay, and it looks a little funny here. But what we're going to do is we're going to click on it and load it up. Okay, and you see the loading swirl there? And then up it came. That's how you can display an image while your page loads. 